y'all can't tell me y'all ain't see that shit coming. Queen. And I understand. Because you got to get to know someone, talk to somebody, and you don't even know you could trust them with your kids. That's why some people don't like going back out there and dating. Mm-mm. The one thing I know is about women that got Chanel bags or Louis Vuitton bag. It's like sometimes men don't want to meet your standards or stay committed to you. It's so more easier because it takes less effort. And that shows you a lot about someone's character. That it's easier for them to be a hoe, Right? Because they don't have to commit. All they got to do is get their nut and leave. So when I see people trying to criticize. And Lori Harvey, thank God. Thank her beautiful soul. Where she said like. They always as a black woman. Or women in general. Get you at an age. Oh you're not married. You're not this. And they always try to make you feel bad. You're not skinny. You're too skinny. You're not. You're, your weight's up and down. Always some bullshit. Always some bullshit. It's not the ring that makes it valuable. It's the fact that someone is showing you the act of service of love. And that's why I be telling y'all, these couple relationship goals be a facade. And thank God for the ones that really genuinely love their woman, like Denzel and his wife, Angela Baskis. Shit, I don't even know what other celebrity I said. McKinley and Walker. They've been only together for three years, and she got the ring. And the people were in the comments saying she finally got the ring. Bruh. Bruh. Like, I'm literally sitting here puzzled because I don't have another celebrity to say who hasn't been cheated on. Okay, G and B and Britney. Their fiancés. I even have a high school friend, like, after three years, she didn't even tell her man nothing. He surprised her and got her a ring. I kid you not. Don't let these men play you. Okay? There was even a time a man got me a whole promise ring saying it was going to lead up to an engagement ring. Four years. Nothing. Wasting my time building a man. It even got to the point this man tried to purposely fuck up everything after I helped him fix everything so he could just feel, I don't know. It's like he didn't even want to show that I was being a great person and I was fine that whatever. You know how Drake said in that song, you ain't had to use me to gain your freedom. Like, I don't even look at it that deep. If somebody needed financial help, you needed financial help. I feel like it's a beautiful thing when someone loves you enough to help you. It's the fact that you out here knowing in the back of your mind like Jess and Reed, Knowing he didn't want to commit to her, had her living with him, and then this is why I say it's sickening. Like you're you seen this person undress, you made love to this person, you told them that you loved them, but yet you don't want to commit to them. And you think I'm crazy because I said I, I see the bullshit. That there's people out here really lying about love that's why i said like i love myself so much for the both of me it's bad when you in a relationship where you feel like you loving for the both of y'all hell no nah, man hell no nah. hell fucking all okay hell no nah. hell no nah. that shit crazy and I like this for the generation to understand that we're waking up to the bullshit. Because we've been going through it since 2019, 2020, 2021. And it's like we're trusting our, our, our intuition. We're, we're seeing the red flags. We understand that we don't want toxic masculinity. We understand we want to provide. We want that soft life. We understand that we're working hard. It's even crazy. My homeboy said there's more girls with Hellcats and Scat Pats. And men are acting like the women. And the women are acting like the men. From a man that's happily married. 
my friend, Marlon, happily married. I'm telling y'all this right now. I'm telling y'all this right now. Because 2023 was hell. Some of y'all are long overdue for a vacation, a happy relationship. And some of y'all are tired of lessons or people coming in and just giving you the bare minimum in temporary situations. Some of y'all even got some evil ass people that would, they will rush to have intimacy with you. Touch on your private parts like this is a petting zoo. Then intentionally redraw, play this cat and mouse game with you. Don't have the intention to really settle with you. Now they got you attached. But they like you, but not enough to commit to you. Yo, hell no. This is why people are being celibate. And I, don't get me started on someone who gets mad because you say you don't want to have SEX or you want to move slow. That's a person that's a narcissist that get, that eventually, because one thing I noticed about any narcissist, even friends, family members, they hate when you're quiet and you're observing them. Because you peep onto their pattern. Every narcissistic have a, a pattern. And the one thing is they're messy. But people don't pay attention to that because you might be stressed uh, on bills, distracted, whatever's going on in life. I kid you not. They got a pattern. They always make you feel in the beginning like, oh, you know, why you want me type stuff. They're super insecure. They always make you seem like you're judging them and you're not. And you're really just accepting people and just chilling and vibing. And they trying to make it known that you're either dealing with a demonic person, a, a person with no good intent. In, in, uh, excuse me, pardon, pardon me. Dealing with someone who don't have good intentions. And then they gave a shot that you're so intuitive that you know that they scout you out and chose you just to do all that to you. And now they know they that they hurt you. You may not be deeply hurting, boohoo hurting, crying, but they know they hurt you to the point where you know you wanted something serious. And that's why I'm saying get serious about your money. Get serious about your relationship with God. Get serious with having your successful business. Because some people out here ain't looking for commitment. Some people, and it's the song. Look, look at the song. We're looking for the whole. I promise you, I'm going to be hearing Sexy Red all summer. Bow, 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 bow. Ain't nobody taking shit serious. People don't even take their health serious. I remember somebody like years ago where I was telling this person, he's like, oh, there's nothing wrong with getting tested. That, that's not the problem. It's just, it sound like, how he said it is like he never had a girl came up to him. So it means like every encounter, you was just going with the flow. You was just trusting that God's going to protect you. You didn't even have, like, I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong having standards and self-respect and being a person that have, like, like morals, dignity. Like, I don't do that shit. I don't care that you're a provider man and I could provide for you. Because most of the men that be saying that, they don't have a good personality. Okay? Because I would never forget someone... Paid for my nails, took me on a nice dinner. They wasn't rude, but they said something stupid that was alerting. And then the person felt like I wasn't gonna tolerate them, but I let them give them a pass in my mind. Then this person really wanted to show the ass. I pursued to cash out them the amount they owe because you're not going to make it seem like you're doing something for me because that means you wasn't even doing it with a good intention. It's not hard to impress a beautiful young woman. Or man, flowers and effort and realness. And some people lack that shit. It's like y'all condoning the defunction and being fake. I just don't understand how, just, just like the Justin Reed situation, in the back of your head, you know you don't want to commit. That's why I don't believe when people say they love you. Do they? Will they love you when you're having a bad day? Will they love you if you ain't had no money? It's like the 21 question of 50 cent. If someone can't love you when you have a Hellcat, and when you didn't have a Hellcat, I don't know. If someone can't love you for rich or poor, for happy or sad, be there mentally, be there for you, only have eyes for you, you don't got a man like Lucky, that ain't your man. 